Hi friends. So on Monday, my friend Tash made a video about not being afraid to do what you've dreamed about because your hopes and dreams are in fact valid and how starting something new can often be terrifying and fill you with doubt. Today, I wanted to talk about something similar, not so much about dreams, but hobbies. There's a quote from Nick Offerman on his American ham tour saying that the word hobby basically diminishes the value of those activities that we call hobbies because a hobby sounds like something small and unoffending that we happen to enjoy in our free time. So he makes the argument that hobbies should instead be given the more accurate name of discipline to give that activity the attention and importance that it's due. I am a person of many hobbies or disciplines. Some of these are consistent in my life and some are in and out with the passing of a few months. Even so, each time I work on something that I would call a hobby, I feel like it's not actually as important as I'm trying to make it or that it's something I'm terrible at so I shouldn't even try. This feeling is much exacerbated when I spend money on that hobby. For example, this notebook of watercolor paper, as well as the new set of paints and a couple different brushes. After I bought all those things, I walked out of the store thinking there's $60 spent on something that is completely unnecessary to my life. I'm struggling with the thought that if something is not the major of my life, so to speak, that I would be better off putting my time and effort into something more in my field. I selectively qualify myself as a musician and think that everything else is just extra. And I'm sure that if I heard someone else voicing that opinion, that I would start arguing with them about how the arts enrich people's lives and are just as important as writing or math to someone's education or their well-being. But it's a bit more difficult to have that argument with yourself. This year, I'm trying to live by the increasingly popular mantra of do what you love. I love making art regardless of its merit. I love learning French, even though I've got no money to plan a trip anytime soon. I love learning how to play cello, even though I don't have any reason for it other than loving the sound of the cello. I love making YouTube videos, though it takes many hours out of my week with planning, filming, and editing. I even love playing video games, despite knowing that I'm only sitting and pressing buttons and that it does virtually nothing to increase my intelligence or skill. I have a personality type that likes to be the best, the smartest, the first, or any other est ending words. And so willingly throwing myself into an activity where I know I'm actually none of those things can be quite challenging for me, but challenging in a good way. None of us is exclusively one thing. Yes, I'm primarily a singer, but if that was the only role I fit into, I think I'd be a very different person. So my challenge for you is to get a hobby. And if you've already done that, as I'm sure most people have, to treat your interests and hobbies with the gravitas and respect that they deserve for holding such a place of joy in your life. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.